Hey everyone, welcome back to Abstract Crafter. This is Brandy, and today we are going to be doing an unboxing. It is not a diamond painting, but it is diamond painting related. It's this drill pen that keeps popping up in my recommended. So, I haven't seen anybody else do a review on it. So I thought, well, I don't mind being the first. So I even left the package completely unopened so this could be a true unboxing. Um... So, let's start. And I'm sorry, I still haven't done my nails. I'm busy, okay? Just forgive me. I promise my next video will be better. But I don't even know when this one's going out, so I might have already had it done by now. Alright, so there's two of the same pen that I had seen on Amazon. Um, you can get this one, or that one, or combo. Look at how cute! And it's supposed to be lighted. Let's see if I can move it out of the glare of the light. It's so tiny. Let's see. Oh my god. I was trying to get close to the tip for you guys. I don't know if it needs batteries. <gasps> it doesn't. I just don't know how it's gonna work. So, um, I have a diamond painting that I'm working on. And I thought we could try it out together. Let's just put that guy there. Here, let's, before we do that, let's get really close to him. Look at that. Oh, please excuse my peeling hands. Because that's much better. <laughs> yeah, he's a little, his face is a little scratched up and beat up. I have a feeling that this paint, you know, because I love you guys. Oh, yeah. So it really doesn't matter what character you get. Well, let's put him down right here. I got some wax. I got a diamond painting. And I'm not quite done with it. There's a little bit right in here. And then there's like, I started a checkerboard and then I left this skinny area open so we could try it together. Um, but isn't this tree just freaking beautiful. These colors are so vibrant. I'm not going to go into it too much. You can wait for the post review for that. And you're going to really want to tune into that because I got some good notes. I've been taking notes while I work on it. Alright, so let's see. I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit here without... Okay, come on. Let's get closer. I'll zoom in a little more. Don't worry, I just want to adjust. There. Alright. So I think we'll start over here and see how he fits in there. And then we'll go right in here and we'll try it with the light. And then we'll see how he does in this skinnier area. Um, I'm going to name him Fred. Fred is going to be my companion. Let's see. He's got a... I don't know why. Why does his head come off? <laughs> His head comes off. I wonder if that's... I mean, I guess you could cap... No, you can't cap it. Because <laughs> it's not like you can't even get the battery on there. Hmm. Oh well. Let's quit farting around. Ugh, this wax is getting really, really gummy. I have a little tray off camera here that I'm going to put my remnants in. Is it just me? I noticed a lot of people were saving, like when they, in their garbage bins, they save the ex excess wax that they pull out. Do you guys do that too? I mean, I don't know. I don't. Alright, let me make sure that you're going to be in view if I move this down a little closer to me. What is that showing up on my camera? See that? It's like a pink dot. Where is it? How does the camera pick it up so much better? I see it now. Hmm. All right. Well, let's just Let's just do this. Let me see. Can you guys see my... You can't see my drills. I want to put this where you could probably see the drills. 
You know, and this has probably been like the best batch of 310s that I've ever used. Alright. Picks up okay. So let's see how it... Hmm. Pretty cool. Let's turn the light on and see if it actually like illuminates. So this guy was $6.99. Hmm. I'm going to shut down lights, so if it gets a little dark, forgive me, we'll turn them back on. But we got to see the true, like, because I feel like it would just kind of, I mean, kind of, like, I don't know if you see, like, I'm moving off to the side and I can see where it goes, but then when I actually go to put the drill down, oh, it doesn't seem to really, it, it you know, my first thoughts when I saw this was that it was a big gimmick, but, I mean, it's nice thin, the tip is thin, so it's going in pretty good. You know, it's not like where I had a small checkerboard here, because I checkerboard every area. It doesn't matter, and I'm just kind of moving around into the skinnier areas and just seeing how this works. I mean, I don't know, maybe if it was nighttime, it would illuminate really well, but it's two o'clock in the afternoon, so there's no way I can test that right now. All right, let's get the lights back on. We're gonna test a couple more. Oh, I'm blind. I'm just gonna try this in a couple more areas just to see how this goes. And I'm sorry if my hand's like getting in the way. I'm trying to move it off to the side. I mean, it's a drill pen. It's comfortable in my hand. It doesn't feel too wide. It actually feels kind of nice. It's got some grip to it. It's not heavy at all. It doesn't feel any heavier than a standard drill pen. Um, oops. The other one is pink. And I'll actually right here, I'm going to insert a picture of, um, I'll, I'll do the actual like product picture of this. The pink one, which I think is like an owl of some sort. And then I'll insert a picture of the two pack. So right here. So yeah, they're pretty cute. I mean, I, this one is $6.99. The pink guy is $7.99. <clears throat> Excuse me, the frogs in my throat always seem to come around when I'm filming. And then the two-pack I seen for $13.99. So I mean, I don't know, I guess if it's worth it to you to spend the $6.99 um, or $7.99 if you prefer the pink one. I'm so sorry, you can hear my cat talking over there. That's what he does. And, hold on, I have to yell at him, he's scratching. Ash, stop it. Stop it. No. It's bad. I think he does it for attention. So, I apologize for having to do that on camera. Um, so, let's just see how well it works for, you know. And this is just really soft because I got this cloth underneath if I was thinking ahead. Which I was trying to. I would have put like a hard book underneath. Let's see, I got one right here. Let's just try it. Oops, shaking ya, shaking ya, sorry. Let's move the drills, we don't wanna spill them. No use crying over spilled drills, am I right? So, I guess from in the camera, it looks okay. Um, give you another, show you up close here how it light what it looks like when it's lit. So it just lights this whole tip and then it comes down and it lights around the area. It just, it's just strange because it's like, well, you saw, it kinda illum illuminates next to the number, but not like the number, I'm trying to see if I can get it to you know, I mean, I don't know, I guess it kind of helps, you know, the area you're in, um, but I guess there's not a whole lot more to say about it. Um, do I, would I recommend this? Yeah, um, I'd say give it a shot. Um, 
if you just like um, gimmicky type drill pens, I'd say, yeah, do it for sure. If you just like collecting drill pens, I mean, you almost need this for your collection. You don't see very many light lit ones. And the one that's in pink, I've actually seen that in a multi-drill tip too. Um, this one did not come with it, but I'm wondering if you could make it work with this end. I'm not sure, but I, I think I've seen it in a three drill tip, a six drill tip. I've only seen it in two of them. I haven't seen it in both. Um, so it's either a three and a six or a six and a nine or a three and a nine. I mean, really, what other options are there? So, um, I will put the link down below and, um, I just want to be upfront and honest with you guys. It is, um, an affiliate link. It does not change the cost for you guys. Um, I just earn, well, considering it's $6.99, I earn less than a dollar and you guys would be helping me out because all the money that I would make from my um, affiliate links would go right back into my channel um, and that would help me be able to do and this is not my way of saying click on my link um, if you're not comfortable with that um, just you can just type in the information and um, I'll try to post a generic link too just by using bit.ly and I'll put an asterisk next to the affiliate link. I just want to be upfront and honest with you, like I said, and it'll, like I said, not to like bribe you or anything, but I think it'll help me be able to do like giveaways because Amazon has a really good giveaway like program that they like to help with. And, you know, like I said, it'll just be helping me out to be able to provide more for my channel and I'm not going to make a ton of money with that link, but I under, also understand if you're not comfortable with that. So don't feel obligated to click on it. It won't make me feel bad. I, heck, I won't even know if you did or not. It's not going to tell me, you know, oh, so-and-so clicked on your link and purchased such and such. I, it doesn't do that. I, it, not at all. Um, the most it's going to do is tell me how many people clicked on my link. But that's the only demographic it will give me. Like I said, I just really want to be upfront and honest with you guys about this because it is one of my pet peeves when I've seen other people do that and not disclose. Um, I watched a really good video by Here for the Tea where she showed, she kind of explained and showed how you can tell if it's an affiliate link if it's not disclosed. And it is actually in Amazon guidelines that you disclose any affiliate links or sponsorships or like say that the, I had got this painting um, for free to review. I would be obligated to tell you guys that. And I don't want to take a chance of not telling you guys for whatever reason. Um, and then Amazon somehow finds out or I get reported. And then something happens to my channel my cha you guys are more important to me and connecting with you guys has been one of the best things that's happened to me in a long time um and i don't want to lose your trust in me i'm not gonna i'm still gonna be 100 percent honest i'm not saying i like this pen because i'm posting an affiliate link either i really do i think it's cute um that's just not me i don't think any review should ever be all positive all the time whether it's paid or not Every product comes with pros and cons, and when I hear somebody saying nothing but pros about something and they can't find a single con, it makes me a little skeptical, um, because I like to know 100% what I'm getting myself into. So, um, if you do happen to use my link, I do really appreciate it. So like I said, you'll be really, really what you'll be doing is contributing to my channel and to the content of my channel. And possibly to giveaway prizes. You know, I have a lot of big giveaways in mind, and I'm been I've been ordering products with my own money. And I don't I, even if I don't make money from my affiliate links, I'm still going to do this stuff. So whether or not you know 
my affiliate link pays for it or if I pay for it. I'm still going to do these things for you guys because it's my way of thanking you for being with me and my way of being able to give back to you. So, like I said, no obligation. Please do not feel bad. Um, it won't affect your purchases at all. Um, it won't change the prices for anything that you buy or anything like that. I just want to make that very clear. Oh, look. The baby's going to come say hi. Can you see her? Probably not. No, she's she's just right here where my shadow is. See, if I bet if I... Not that I really want her stepping on my canvas. So, yeah. That's all I really wanted to say about that. Um... The first time I used the link was in um, the ironing video, and I only I did not disclose it in that one because I had actually signed up for the program after I signed up for the um, after I posted the video, and I switched out the link to um, just see how it worked, and I didn't change my description yet. I will, because like I said, I don't want you guys to think that I'm not being honest with you. Um, I will switch that. I'll put a little asterisk next to that. Anytime you see an asterisk, if I forget to mention it, because I am quite forgetful, that will mean it's an affiliate link, and I will try to always be upfront and honest with you guys about that. Um, but if it doesn't have an asterisk, then it's not an affiliate link, so... Um, but all right, with that, I'm going to let you guys go. I just wanted to um, quickly do a review on this. What do you guys think? Do you think he's adorable? Um, I'll put a poll up in the corner up there. I don't even know if you see my finger pointing to the corner. So just look for the eye. And um, I'm just going to put a poll in and see. I'm going to ask one so it can be more anonymous if you guys mind if I use the affili affiliate link. And then I'm going to put a poll in to see what if you guys like this and to see if you guys would purchase this. I love those polls. I um, haven't quite figured out how to grab the information <laughs> quite yet. I only way I know how is to go in and like vote, I guess. So that's right now, but I will figure that out so that I can actually use that to apply to my channel because that's the whole point in using them. Um, so yeah, so we'll be looking for that eye in the corner. It should pop up. It should have popped up right after I, you know, first mentioned it. I try to do that. Um, but otherwise, yeah. Uh, I'm going to do the YouTuber thing here now and say please like, subscribe, and leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you think if you don't feel like answering the poll. Um, tell me what you think about all of it, anything that I've talked about. And then, um, yeah, so I will see you guys in the next video. I really hope you guys have an awesome day, and uh, I'm trying not to say have fun diamond painting because everybody says that, but I really do want you to have fun diamond painting. Maybe um, keep calm and paint on. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Bye. Have a nice day, guys. Bye.